Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com, and I'm here with a new product from Western Digital. It's called the My Passport Studio. And uh, if you're familiar with WD or uh, with external storage, then you probably heard of the My Passport series. It's uh, an external USB hard drive, uh, 2.5 inch. Yeah, pretty basic product. Uh, they've come out with a number of different revisions. This is the newest one, and uh, in addition to USB 2.0, this has FireWire 800. So it doesn't have USB 3.0 like some of the ones we've been seeing, but uh, it does have those two interfaces and uh, 640 gigabytes of storage. The uh, The big news with this one is uh, what we can see from the packaging right here, and that is there's a e-ink, or what they call a custom e-label e display on the outside of the hard drive. So it's uh, pretty good stuff if you're trying, you know, if you want to get some basic information about your hard drive without having to uh, to open it up, you know, to plug into your computer at least. So I'll just open this up and uh, see what's inside. It didn't work too well. Uh, yeah, that'll do the trick. They don't really say anything on the back. They just say uh, smart display custom e-label. See your label, available capacity, and security status even when the drive is unplugged. So uh, yeah, it uses e-ink, so it doesn't doesn't really require any power unless when it's uh, changing states. So the drive is off. I uh, it's obviously just got it out of the packaging. So we see uh, it's labeled the videos. I don't know why. Oh nine again. Uh, I don't know why it's 2010, so the 09 wouldn't even make sense for the date. And then we have the capacity. You can see that gauge right there. Obviously, it's empty. 649 gigabytes free. This is a uh, 600, sorry, 639 gigabytes free. This is a 649 gig gigabyte disk. So it uh, it hasn't even been formatted, formatted yet. So anyway, so it's a lot of space. And then as for the hardware, it's a reasonable size. Pretty standard for a 2.5 inch disc, although it's uh, I think there's a one size a little bit smaller than this that WD uses. And then uh, yeah, that's it. It's very Apple like with the aluminum. Well, it's not aluminum, right? It's plastic, but it looks it looks metallic. And then obviously the gloss white. Putting that down. Also in the box we have like cool white USB cables. This one's kind of short. But we could see that, uh, try to zoom that in, there you go, uh, this is micro USB, not mini USB, and the, the cables are like, have a kind of rubbery texture to them, so, nice job there, oh, and they clearly label USB 2.0, here's our, some firewire, and then here is a, you know, it says right here, it's FireWire 800, and then the longer one, also FireWire 800. And then some instructions, yeah, that's it. So uh, now that it's active, I just wanted to plug it into my computer really quickly and see if we could do something with the demo. So this is the first time I'm plugging it in. Obviously, I haven't uh, haven't used it yet. So computer is recognizing it. Installing device driver software. You know, kind of standard type thing. And, uh, so this is interesting. I'll just, I'll zoom right in here. So it says, uh, mass storage device ready to use, my passport, USB drive. So it understands it's a USB drive. And, uh, 
but the uh, WD SES device USB drive that must be the uh, the display itself is not accessible. So, uh, that, but then it sees the virtual CD installed on there, and that's the WD Smartware. So we're going to run that. Just agreeing to all the Windows nonsense. And now we have the, try to zoom this in a little bit. WD Smartware, it's uh, just a pretty basic software and it says uh, we want to backup files or set up the drive or do not install. I'm going to go with set up the drive and uh, it says no writable WD Smartware partition found on your passport drive. <sighs> Back to start. Back to start. Set up drive. So anyway, that didn't work as planned. The goal was to be able to change the uh, the display on the hard drive from videos 09 to something a little bit more useful than that for me. Oh, using this, we could also retrieve a backup. So that's over here. But no, we want to set up the drive, and again, it's not letting me do it. That's super. It's also not recognizing the disk, obviously, here in, uh, in computer. We can see that my, uh, my C drive is here, 280 gigabytes. And then uh, HP tools that partition. That's a two gigabyte partition is available, but but nothing else. So see if HP update could find the drivers. No, of course not. Yeah, so uh, not the easiest installation experience with the WD My Passport. So I'm gonna keep plugging on this, and uh, there'll be a full review up on Geek.com. Thanks for watching.